if it were me and I had that robust of research, I would probably just focus on the Old Premeds Podcast, session number 259. Welcome to the Old Premeds Podcast. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray, where I take your questions directly from the non traditional premed discussion over at premedforms.com. If this is your first time listening to the old premeds podcast, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're someone who's been listening for a while, maybe perhaps an old premed listener, an old, old premed listener, and you haven't asked a question over at premedforms.com yet, you should go ahead and do so. I want to remind you about mapped.com, which is my new technology platform that I co-founded and has been now available for only about three and a half months. We have well over a thousand people using MAPS every day to help guide them on your uh, on their journey to medical school. With MAPS, you can log in, create an account, track your courses, track your activities, which is what we're going to be talking about today, track your MCATs, track your letters of recommendations, give access to your account to advisors so they can view everything that they are doing. And we are currently working on uh, adding in kind of application simulation into MAPS so that you can start working on your personal statement, your activity descriptions, and get feedback from your advisors and anyone else that you want feedback from right inside your account. All of the data that you provide to MAPS, we can then turn around and give you personalized feedback on your journey. Go sign up for a free two-week trial at mapped.com today. That's M-A-P-P-D dot com. All right, so our question today from the non-traditional pre-med discussion over at premedforms.com is about activities, and it's about listing publications in the activities section. Our student asks, hi, everyone. As a non-traditional pre-med who worked in research for several, several years, I am fortunate enough to have contributed to six research papers so far. Should I be listing all of these in my work activity section of my application? Would it be a red flag to have most of my activities involving research since that's what I've done for a long time before switching to pre-med? All right, so great question. Couple, a couple little nuances here that the student brings up. And I wanna bring up really the, the heart of the question is, how do I list all of these things? And I want to start off by reminding you that every application service is different. If you are applying to MD schools through AMCAS, you are allowed 15 spots in your activity section. That's the, that's the maximum number of spots that you can have. All 15 of them can be research. I wouldn't recommend that, but you could technically do that. For a COMIS, which is the application service for DO schools, there is no limit in activities. And that's the same thing for TMDSAS, which is the application service for Texas public medical schools, both MD and DO. So, with TMDSAS, with a COMIS, there's no limit, there's no issues putting all six of those publications as separate entries in your activity list. Now for AMCAS, because they do limit to 15, uh, 15 spots in your activity list, there are a couple things that you can do. You could put one activity as research publications, that's that's a, uh, a publications and poster presentation, I think is the, the term for the category. You can make one of your entries that category, and you can mark that as most meaningful. And when you mark that as most meaningful, that will give you 700 characters for the quote unquote description, and then 1,325 characters as a most meaningful essay. And in that kind of 1,325 character spot, you could potentially link to, even though those links don't work, they're not true hyperlinks, but you could you could kind of put bibliolo- bibliography uh, references in that description to kind of put the title and, and who else is in there. In my mind, all of that is unnecessary. 
I think the the goal of this process is to highlight who you are and the impact you've made. And by listing all six of your your publications, it's really just listing things you've done, right? It's kind of like a job description. If you say, well, as an EMT, I responded to 911 calls and helped people get to the hospital, right? It's a job description. I get it. That's what you did. When you're talking about research and publication and poster presentations, the actual titles of the research, the actual links to the research, I believe that is less important. Who you are and how you impacted that research, in my mind, tells a better story of who you are and not just here are the things that I did. And so if it were me and I had that robust of research, I would probably just focus on the research and how I impacted it, how it impacted me, and state somewhere that, yes, I, I was able to contribute to six articles or six publications, what, whatever language you want to use there. You could potentially categorize if the publications were in different types of research, you're, you're looking at different things, maybe you can categorize it a little bit and say, I, I published three articles looking at XYZ and we, we worked on uh, another three articles looking at this other thing. And that'll give a little bit of a backstory into everything so that during an interview, they can potentially ask and say, hey, tell me about these, these three articles that you published that, that had to do with this one thing. So I don't think it's super important to list all of the publications and the, the titles and, and all of the quote unquote bibli, it's hard word to say, bibli, bibliographical uh, references to, uh, to really show what you've done. Uh, I think it's more important to, to focus on the impact other than anything else. And so good question because it allowed me to cover a few different things. Number one, the differences in the application services. And remember, AMCAS uh, limits you to 15 spots. ACOMIS and TMDSAS do not limit you. AMCAS gives you 700 characters for the description and 1,325 characters extra as a separate essay if you mark that activity as most meaningful. That doesn't add up to 18, it's still 15, and then three of those are can be most meaningful. A comus gives you 600 characters, none of them can be marked as most meaningful. And TMDSAS, uh, again, is unlimited. It gives you 300 characters, uh, and three of those can be most meaningful activities as well with an extra and separate 500 character for a most meaningful description. So hopefully that was helpful. Good luck on your journey. If you Again, if you have questions you want answered here on the old pre-meds podcast, go to premedforms.com, find the non-traditional pre-med discussion and ask your question there. That's where we pull our questions for this podcast. Hope you have a great week. Don't forget to check out MAPT. Sign up for a free two-week trial at mapped.com, M-A-P-P-D.com. We'll see you next time here on the Old Pre-Meds Podcast.